Today we celebrate with the presentation of the Congressional Gold Medal, the Monuments Men, the 350 men and women from 13 countries, including Harry Etlinger of Rockaway, New Jersey, whose assignment whose assignment it was to recover, protect, preserve, and return the art and artifacts that disappeared in World War II. Harry is New Jersey's Monuments Man, a German Jew whose family fled to the United States to escape the Nazis, and I'm proud to call him my friend. I'm also proud to have worked with my colleagues on legislation to award the Monuments Men the Congressional Gold Medal they deserve for what they did to save the world's cultural artifacts from being destroyed or lost forever. This wasn't an easy assignment. The fact that two Monuments men were killed in action is evidence enough. But if it wasn't for their efforts, their courage, and their sacrifice, the world may have lost some of the greatest cultural treasures in existence. While the Nazis were trying to destroy Europe, these men and women were trying to save the culture of Europe, the culture of Western civilization, so that it would be preserved, sustained, and handed down to our children and our children's children. The cultural treasures that the Monument Men saved are on display in museums throughout the United States and the world. They recovered and protected works of art from Manet, Rembrandt, Vermeer, Leonardo da Vinci, Donatello, Michelangelo, that had been plundered by the Nazi army uh, and was recovered by virtue of their efforts. And these artists and others are now on display throughout the United States. They worked with combat forces to ensure that great architectural works were not destroyed by the devastations of war. These men and women actually are responsible in many ways for the foundation upon which our modern American museum system exists, as many of the Monuments Men became the leaders of some of the greatest cultural institutes in our country. In one of the darkest chapters of human history, where man's inhumanity to their fellow man shocked the world, the Monuments Men were, by their actions, showing us the better angels of our humanity. Harry Etlinger and all of the, three, of the other 349 Monuments Men are truly heroes who did their duty and saved our cultural heritage, and now they deserve to be honored by Congress. We owe them our thanks, and the world owes them a debt of gratitude. The Congressional Gold Medal is the least that we can do. To all of them, and in their memory for what they did, we recognize them and we thank them on behalf of a grateful nation. May God bless them, and may God bless these United States of America. Ladies and gentlemen, please turn your attention to the television screens for a video presentation.